Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the great state of Texas. More specifically, Huntsville, Texas. And even more specifically than that, I am in front of the Texas Prison Museum. Now, Texans, known for their love of law and justice, there's quite a few prisons in Texas. In fact, there is six prisons right here in Huntsville, Texas, where we are right now. Six prisons in this town. That is a lot of prisons. So, interested to check out the Texas Prison Museum and uh, see what they have to teach us about the prison system. So, please follow me. ball and chain there on the logo. Building even looks a little bit like a prison. See the little guard tower there? Up on top of the guard tower, have a friendly little prison guard waving at us. Some items in here that would be used by the prisoners every day. Some uh, silverware and plates. Is the actual prison outfit they wear a white uniform it says that they give the prisoners locks to use on their lockers but they make them out of plastic because they will turn uh, metal locks into weapons oh prisoners that is a stinger it's got like a, a cord attached to it that's a piece of metal that they would heat up to cook food so that, that is now illegal to possess this is inmate money here says they use swipe cards now, but previously would like write these checks to prisoners where they could use for commissary. There's some commissary items, some toiletries, some foods, beef stew, some filet of mackerel. And it says that the um, items such as the radios and fans are made out of transparent material to keep prisoners from uh, hiding things inside of them. Here's some prison uniforms. This is the uniform that was used up until 1995. Then they switched to the more scrub-like appearance um, in 1995 to save money. These are some items that were created by prisoners in the Texas prison system. Of course, uh, the classic license plates made by prisoners. Apparently, Texas, they would also manufacture mops. It's a machine used to print uh, license plates in the prison. Here is a model of a prison here in Huntsville known as The Walls. You can kind of get a peek of what goes on inside the prison there. You can actually see the big stadium back there for uh, prison rodeos. It says all the art in this museum is actually created by inmates. Some real beautiful art here. A little exhibit on Patriot Paws service dogs. The dogs actually are helped trained by uh, prison inmates. That there is a massive pepper fog gun. It's like a bazooka for pepper spray. You could blast out massive amounts of pepper spray during a riot. See a gas mask in there to protect the person operating it. Here we see the different stages of outfits for the guards. This is a female guard outfit. Kind of a very interesting look for a prison guard there. It's the gun, gun, gun section. The Tommy gun there. Oh, there's a gas gun used for shooting gas canisters. Oh, down here are some, some beaten tools. There's a, some slapjacks and uh, a uh, brass knuckles, some billy clubs there, and uh, that's just a telescope. Here are some uh, restraints used in prison. 
these leather straps here. The old ball and chain. This bat here was a big leather strap used to uh, beat prisoners. Yeah, it was actually allow allowed to use corporal punishment and beat prisoners with that in the 1940s. Here are some torn handcuffs. Someone was able to tear these handcuffs off themselves. Who, who did that? The freaking Incredible Hulk? Some farming items used by prisoners. It's a branding iron. Of course, that used to used to brand cattle, not not the actual prisoners. Here is the actual sign used for Texas's death row. Yikes! This camera's here used to take pictures of new inmates. It says this camera was used all the way up till 1991. This machine here used to take fingerprints of inmates. That sign there says this teletype machine was used to send and receive messages including natural death notice and execution stays. So almost like an old fax machine sitting there waiting waiting for you to get executed. Hopefully that you get a fax saying nah not today. Here is a replica of a Texas prison cell. Look at the bars there. Not a lot to it. You got these uh, two beds, one on top of each other, that um, classic half toilet, half sink that you get to use and your buddy gets to watch you take poops and then just one little table there with a few items on it. Prison? Prison doesn't seem like it's a lot of fun. Has anyone, anyone ever been to prison? If you've been to prison, leave a comment in the comment section and tell me if it was fun or not. This piece of gate here was actually made by inmates to go in the front of the general manager of the prison's house. Really, I don't know. Seems like prison craftsmanship is pretty high quality for some reason. Here is an exhibit on prison rodeos. You actually see over here, it's like a chariot. Like an old Roman chariot, but it has rubber tires on it. I guess that would be used during the rodeo. And then there is a prison rodeo outfit. See, they wear the stripes along with a cowboy hat and some chaps. This is a mechanical bull, but uh, it actually does say Texas Department of Criminal Justice on it, so I guess maybe they use the mechanical bull to practice with? I don't know, why else would they have a mechanical bull? See that uh, big old cart back there? It says Texas Prison Rodeo on it. Some different items from the rodeo here. I think this must be like a homemade rodeo clown outfit. Some prison rodeo merchandise there. Check this out. This pistol was actually recovered from the death car of Bonnie and Clyde. Of course, the death car is in Prim, Nevada at Whiskey Pete's Casino. But here is a gun, possibly used by the murderous duo to uh, shoot innocent people. Various uh, prison shanks and fake guns used by prisoners. Have a look at that thing right there. Almost looks like a steampunk shotgun. These are items from the Carrasco prison riot where uh, some inmates were able to take control of the prison and famously they made these metal helmets for themselves. It says three were made. It's a bulletproof helmet and there's one here. It actually says right on the sign that another one is in the Alcatraz East Museum in Pigeon Forge. I've actually been there and seen that version of uh, the helmet. They say another one is at the um, Texas Ranger Museum in Waco, Texas. Here's some prison barber chairs used to give inmates haircuts. And again, some artwork up here. So all this artwork made by different prisoners. Man, you know, you wish these people would have used their hands to create art before they used them to create crimes. It says that this gun here was taken by an inmate named uh, Eroy Brown, took it from a warden, Wallace Peck, shot Wallace Peck, and then drowned him in a river. Yikes. It's a giant knife. 
It's a giant kitchen knife taken by an inmate named Ramon Mata who murdered a uh, female correctional officer, Minnie Houston. Now this is pretty scary when you take a second look at it. This is like armor, but it almost looks like something a kid would make. There's dragons and fl like flaming gauntlets here. But uh, if you look closely, it is completely lined with razor blades. So this was no joke. You know, it was creating this to use for bad, bad things. It says born to die on this one. It's a less malicious creation. It's a very intricate wooden motorcycle carved by an inmate. It's a lot of really impressive carvings done by inmates. Wow, look at this. This is a clockwork machine. I guess it is a clock. It's an actual working clock. You can see it has like a pendulum right there. That is super cool. Here is different furniture carved and created by inmates, including this bassinet here. Leave a comment in the comment section. Would you let your baby sleep in a bassinet carved by murderers? It's a pretty cool end table shaped like Texas. Some pretty cool carvings here. Almost look like they're carved out of ivory, but this is not ivory, or at least not ivory in the traditional sense. This does not come from elephant teeth. This is soap. These are all carved out of soap. Possibly ivory soap, but uh, not, not elephant teeth. Soap. It's soap. This is pretty amazing right here. This is a chess set carved out of soap, but uh, if you look at it, on this side, we have law enforcement officials, we have prison guards. On the opposing side is prison inmates. And if you look closely, you can see they're all armed. They're all armed with shanks. Yeah, so much interesting prison art here. A ship in a bottle and a skeleton pipe and uh, this big old ship right here. Here, this is so cool. This is a Monopoly board, a custom Monopoly board created by a prisoner who called it Prisonopoly. Each one of the spaces you can land on are a different unit. And uh, all the uh, cards are prison themed. Let's see, cell restrictions for leaving your cup out, lose one turn. So very, very cool. And uh, apparently this was found in a cell and uh, it was contraband so they were going to throw it out. And the prisoner wanted so badly to be able to keep it, so he asked if he could give it to his mother and not have it thrown out. And the guard agreed, but on one condition. He had to recreate another Prisonopoly board for this museum. And so the prisoner happily created a second Prisonopoly set to be displayed here in this very museum. Whenever you go into a crime museum or a police museum or a prison museum, one thing is for sure. You're going to have a great display of shanks. These are all different weapons created by the prisoners in order to stab and harm each other. Some bone knives there. Well, there's a slingshot. They're going to get all uh, Dennis the Menace on each other. Oh, this is nice. This is a wire used to create a choking device to strangle other prisoners to death. Apparently these prisoners had um, maybe watched too many episodes of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's a throwing star right there. And then some prison nunchucks. So many crazy things down here. A little tiny handheld moonshine still. There's some shoes with secret compartments in it to store drugs and weapons. It's a fake Coca-Cola can to hide things in. And look at that. A freaking flip-flop switchblade at a knife that come, <laughs> comes out of the side. That's pretty terrifying there. That's not brass knuckles. Those are razor knuckles. It's a homemade operating pistol. <laughs> prisoners can really do anything when they put their minds to it. This is a paintball. A prisoner just picked paint off the wall, mushed it all together into a ball, put it in a sock, and beat someone with it. This prisoner decided to make himself a... Uh, set of Chuck Taylors just uh, fashioned it out of his uh, old prison uniform. There's some drug paraphernalia, confiscated cigarettes, gambling devices. 
It's a counterfeit notary stamp for uh, making fake notarized documents and a homemade telegraph so the prisoner could send out uh, secret telegraphs. I wonder when, when that was made. See, they were hiding things in that book right there. Another moonshine still. Some musical instruments used by prisoners. And these are actually um, homemade weights that a prisoner could use during workouts. Look at this. This is a propeller made by an inmate. Apparently they thought they were going to construct a small plane that they were just going to use to fly out of the prison. Well, that would have been cool. This is a fake section of a cell. It was actually made out of cardboard and toilet paper. So I guess they were slowly removing pieces of their cell and replacing it with cardboard and toilet paper so they would eventually be able to make a hole big enough to escape from. The shovel here was used to burrow 12 feet in the ground before uh, guards put an end to that. Man, you dig 12 feet for nothing, that'd be a bummer. Here's a grappling hook created out of a sheet. It was used to try to escape. These are fake guns used in an escape. Man, they pretty much do look almost indecipherable from real guns. And here we have it. Old Sparky. This is the actual electric chair used here in Texas from the 1920s up to the 1960s. Now, I've seen some other um, electric chairs that have been used in museums, but uh, this is Texas. And this is the Texas electric chair. And um, this individual electric chair used to kill 361 people. 361 people sat down in that chair and were killed by the chair. That is mind boggling. Not only do they have the electric chair, they also have this uh, equipment used in a lethal injection. This uh, material here used to execute uh, Charlie Brooks Jr. in 1982. These items were used in the electrocutions. These hair clippers used to shave people's heads. And this razor would be used for their last shave. And then there is the sponge that would be dipped in water and placed on their heads prior to the uh, electrocution. Here's some anti-death penalty um, signs where people would protest executions outside the prison. There is a flag that was burned in an anti-death penalty protest. So thank you for joining me here at the Texas Prison Museum here in Huntsville, Texas. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. If uh, you like these videos, please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps me out and will let you know when new videos appear on this channel. Feel free to check out some of the older videos on this channel. I have been to the 48 continental United States filming roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff in all of them. Other ways to help the channel, uh, donate to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month, selling merchandise as well in the Etsy shop. All that just helps keep this train on the tracks, this boat on the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, this one's in the bag.